Right. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Joy and today we're going to be talking about the beautiful starfish um, as your totem animal or just as an animal messenger that, that's uh, coming in. And we'll, you know, I will tell, be telling you about um, the little bit of, a little bit of his, not the history of the starfish, but you know how it survives and how that is going to be portrayed into what it's trying to teach you or help assist you with as your as an animal messenger or as your totem animal. If you've always been attracted to starfish, um, it's very well likely that it is uh, your spirit animal as well. Um, or if you just keep seeing stars or starfish over and over throughout your days in the course of one to three weeks. You know, this could just be coming through to you as perhaps you're, you're you know, binging on Spongebob. <laughs> and, you're, and you're Patrick is in every one of them. And he's like almost the key character next to Spongebob, of course. Or maybe uh, you're in the grocery store, you're walking down the aisle, and for some reason you just stop and you look at the tuna fish. You know, and you see star kissed tuna every, you know, that's what caught your eye. Uh... And it doesn't necessarily really have to be the animal uh, starfish, per se. It could be just, you know, if you're seeing the word star, maybe someone's license plate says star, or you're hearing, oh, my stars, you know, that that phrase. Or, uh, you know, just in the night sky, there's this one big bright star that's just shining, and, and you're so amazed by it. I mean, if synchronicities like that are, are keep going on for, like, one to three weeks... You know, just pay close attention. Pay close attention to that and to what I'm going to be telling you about the starfish as a totem and a messenger. And um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, first of all, like I said, I'm going to be talking about the starfish, how it survives, and then after that, you know, it comes into how its survival is wants to teach you on your own course of, of life here now as a messenger animal or your totem. And I also have some of my cards here, some of my oracle cards that have a starfish on them and I'll get into that at the end after we talk a little more about the starfish um, and just how the words on the bottom of these uh, oracle cards are going perfectly along with the photos on them with the starfish. So let's go. Starfish have no left or right, only top and bottom. On its underside is its mouth and small suction cups. Individuals for whom the starfish appear often are very sensitive to the true emotions of others surrounding them, no matter how they are shielded or disguised by the individuals. Now the starfish with no eyes or ears uh, it's, it's very dependent upon its sense of touch and smell, which are acute. And when the starfish appears to you as your uh, messenger or your totem animal, it will be important for you to follow your own star, your own scent, to what you desire. You also don't listen to hearsay and, you know, don't do this, don't do that. It's what you want to do. You know, you are your own star, in other words. You are the star of your life. You are the star of the show. And that's one of the things that the starfish wants to bring forward to you. Now, others may not think there's anything in it for your efforts. Just as I was just saying, you know, they're going to say, oh, you don't do this, don't do that. It's not going to help you grow, blah, blah, blah. But remember, the starfish loses a leg or a limb, an arm, it will grow back. So just keep that in mind if the starfish is coming to you. So trust your own instincts, right? Your ability to discern new opportunities and possibilities will be increasing with the starfish energies. And also, the starfish uh, digests in an unusual way. You know, they cling to their prey. Uh, they mainly um, eat mussels down in the ocean. And as soon as they find the soft spot on that mussel, uh, they, they turn out their stomachs through their mouths. 
the stomachs come out and onto the soft spot of that muscle and they begin to digest it. Now when, when done, the starfish will pull their stomachs uh, back inside themselves. Now, doing things in your own unique way, no matter how strange it seems to others, will usually work best for you. And this is part of what the starfish uh, is coming through and wants to teach you and help you help you with. Now starfish, you know, as I was saying, they can regrow their arms that has been bitten off as well. So even if we even if you fail in your own unique endeavors, we will you will regain regain anything that is lost and still be able to shine and continue. So remember, you know, the for starfish people, there is no gray area usually. Things are black and white or up and down. To follow what one knows is right for himself or herself is difficult, but it brings its own rewards and it opens up star possibilities to you. So your keynote for a starfish totem or animal messenger is perceiving emotions and following your own unique way. And there are so it could be also be two questions that you could ask yourself when the starfish shows up to you when what it's trying to teach you is are you following the crowd? Are you following the crowd? Because you know remember the starfish now it wants to you know do things in your own unique way, right? Or are you ignoring your own emotions? Or of those around you? They are a water animal, very emotional. Starfish wants to help you achieve and further your emotions in a brighter way. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about the oracle cards that I have from my mermaid deck, which I uh, went through. And uh, so this first card, the word is awareness. This is something that starfish wants also bringing forward to you in their energy. And uh, if you notice, there's a starfish here in her hair. All right. And this is the starfish here is telling you that your senses may be heightened at this time. Being aware of scenarios can aid you as you swim through the calm or troubled waters. So again, the starfish wants to tell you to be your own person and have the awareness, you know, have the awareness about yourself that, um, you know, that, that you are your own person, you are your own shining star. So their next card that I'm going to be talking about is this mermaid card which says the light on the bottom. Star bright, star light, star light, star bright. Shine your brightness, be your own star. Right here is the starfish on this card. And again, this card is just, you know, starfish coming through here is just saying, shine your light for all to see. Shine your uniqueness. You don't shy away, don't be shy. Shine your uniqueness through. And do things your own way. That is one of the starfish powers as well. Now we're going to go into acceptance here. Okay, so the starfish on this card, there's a bunch of them, and they're all down here. One, two, three, four, five. I see five of them. There may be more here. But pay attention, you know, to the words on the bottom of these cards, because it's acceptance, you know, accept whom you are. Right? Acceptance is the doorway to freedom. Accepting what is going on releases any feelings of resistance and helps you feel liberated. These are some of the things, as we were saying, that the starfish is trying to teach you and wants to help assist you with as your messenger or your animal totem. And your next card then is the starfish spirit. The starfish spirit says on the bottom here, open to infinite possibilities. Now the starfish of spirit comes to remind you of all the potential that lies inside of you. 
Also, not to limit your goals to release those feelings of disbelief. Open your eyes and reach for the stars. So open your eyes and reach for the stars. And that is what the spirit told him. And the messenger of the starfish uh, wants to help assist you with and teach you and guide you through life with. Alright, I thank you and you have a wonderful day. Bye now.